What's going on guys? So today we are going to be doing back and so what I started off doing here is doing a lat pull down but we're doing a little bit different variation. You can see how my hands are turned inwards instead of the normal palms facing out. This is just using that D grip so it's just the handle that allows you to hold on to it like I'm holding on to it. We're going to be doing our entire workout is going to be a superset. So we're going to be doing this workout and then the same exercise right here which is the V grip and it's a high cable row. That's one superset so just jump right into that next one. We're going to be doing that four times total. On the first one it's 10 reps, this one it's 10 reps as well. So on the D bar, the D grip lap pull down, what we're going to focus on is pulling down with our elbows instead of pulling down with our biceps. I mentioned that in my last video as well. And then when we're getting down to the bottom of the rep, we're going to be squeezing our shoulders inward. So we're going to be at the bottom of the rep, squeeze really tight, and that's just going to flex everything on your back. And then at the top of your lift, you're going to extend your arms out just a little bit. And remember, we're not going to let our arms lock out all the way. We're not going to, we're going to keep that little bend in our elbow the whole time but we are gonna release that tension a little bit. On this high cable row, um, the tip I can give on this one, stand a little bit away from the machine and then let your body kind of lean away from it just because it does get a little heavy and it will pull your body in. And on this, we're just gonna be pulling back, same with our elbows. And then the back of the rep, we're gonna be squeezing our shoulder blades together. This next superset, so on that one, we're gonna be doing that first exercise and that second exercise and we're going to be doing that four times total. Same with this one. So this is the V grip which I just took from that same machine that we were just on. Put it on the lat pull down and this is just going to be a lat pull down with the V grip. So it's a little bit different from the cable row because we're pulling it down instead of towards our body. But same idea as that cable row. So we're going to be pulling high and we're going to be pulling down with our elbows. And then we're going to superset that with cable pullover. This is really good for building that width in your back. Everything we're doing up to this point is building the depth. So from the front to the back of your back, this is going to be building that um, from left to right um, width in your back, giving you that nice V taper. So Nicolette is pulling down and you can see she's pulling down with her elbows. She's keeping her body nice and straight the entire time. She's not letting her body get sucked into the machine. She's not pulling down with her body. She's pulling just with her arms, just with her elbows. And that's gonna prevent her from building too much by because this is a back workout. We're not gonna be trying to pull down with our buys. On this, you can see she's not letting the weight go so, so high. She's pulling it down just to a little bit in front of her face and then pulling it down to um, her quads. And just really focus on not pulling down with your triceps on this. It's really easy to bend your arms and pull down with those tries. So avoid that, keep your arms kind of straight and make sure you're just really, really feeling it in your lats. If you're feeling it in your tries, you're bending your arms a little bit too much. This next one is the only workout in this back workout that is not gonna be a superset. We're just gonna be doing five sets of 12. And I'm doing it on the assisted pull-up machine. If you can do this with body weight, just on a regular pull-up bar, that's gonna be even better. I'm a little bit tired after all those other workouts, so I just use the assisted machine. I try to go as light as I possibly could, so I'm using more of my body weight, but it's really up to you. Just try to push yourself, and remember five sets of 12 on this. And then a good tip on this one is we're not yanking up. It's a little bit easy to pull really, really fast. Just try to keep that tension on your back the entire time. You'll know what I mean by tension on your back if you feel like you're not getting the workout through the whole entire lift. This next workout is going to be incline chest supported dumbbell row. And my tip on this, grab, you can go pretty heavy on this. I'm grabbing 40s right here. I could probably go a little bit higher to be honest. Throw your knee on the bench and then put your chest on the actual back part. And then this is just gonna be a regular row. Pull with your elbows and you're not yanking them up too fast. You're just pulling nice and uh, constant the whole time on the tension. I'm gonna superset that with a bent over easy bar row. You can see my body kind of collapses every single time as if I'm doing like a seated row. So let that body concave a little bit and then pull up. So I'm pulling down, dropping my body, pulling up. It's not, I'm not just standing there pulling up and down. On this dumbbell row, 
just really, really focus on pulling up instead of pulling back towards your feet. Uh, it's So what I mean by that is try to pull the weight almost straight up from the ground to the ceiling. It's really, really tough, but try to do that. You're gonna get a better workout out of it. And then again, at the top of your rep, you're squeezing those shoulder blades. That's gonna be the best part of that lift and all of these back lifts. Nicolette used the same weight as me, so I feel a little bad about that, but she's pushing herself and that's really good. So on this one, four sets, 10 as well. Uh, drop that weight low, we're letting all the tension out. This is one of the workouts that we're gonna be doing where we're not letting, that we are letting the tension go instead of keeping that time under tension the entire time. So she's dropping all the way down and then pulling, you know, really hard all the way up, squeezing those shoulder blades. This last superset we're going to be doing is just your basic shrugs. This is gonna be a Smith machine. So you can go pretty heavy on this, try to push yourself and remember on your shrugs that we're not rolling our shoulders because that's gonna cause a lot of issues with our rotator cuffs. So I'm just going straight up and down, straight up and down. I'm gonna superset that with dumbbell shrugs and we're gonna be doing 12 on the side and 12 on the front. So when we're doing the side, same thing, we're just pulling straight up and down, we're not rolling those shoulders. And this is just gonna hit, uh, because we're doing the two different movements, this is going to hit different areas of your trap. When we're doing it on the side, it's gonna be a little bit more of your back trap. When you're doing it in the front, it's gonna be a little bit more in the front. Play around with these and hope you like them. So here's the workout. Hope you guys enjoy it. And like always, you can screenshot this so you don't have to refer back to the workout the whole time. So uh, if you like this workout, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.